Yo, welcome back guys, welcome back to Anonymous Gaming. So today we are going to do something different. I am going to show you guys how to make a simple homemade eco friendly firecracker kind of stuff. So in one way, it is way more better than the normal explosives which we buy. And I am telling in the beginning itself, this is not at all an efficient way to make explosives. It's just for fun, to do something different and enjoy. This is going to make a lot of sound, so don't try this during the afternoon or at night, because your neighbors might be asleep. So to begin with, all we need is some dry ice, a small a small bottle and a little bit of water. I prefer a small bottle because we have less volume so that we can build up the pressure quickly. How this actually works is, when dry ice is mixed with water, then it will undergo a sublimation process that is changing of solid directly into a gas without becoming a liquid. So when you put dry ice in water, water will transfer heat to dry ice faster and it will just evaporate quickly compared to the heat exchange with the normal air so when you put water and dry ice inside a bottle and close the cap the dry ice will change into gaseous state according to the few calculations that I did which might be wrong or might not be the sublimation process will increase the volume of dry ice by 804 times by converting it into CO2 gas so during this expansion of the volume the pressure gets built up inside the bottle leading to an explosion. So this is the bottle after the explosion and I mentioned this earlier it's not really an effective way to make explosives but still we can have a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching guys and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and here's another clip in which I failed to seal the cap tightly and the CO2 escaped from one tiny space making it to rotate.